were. Just to pick up on a point, the IMF said today that actually the, the plan, the mini budget, has increased uh, the, the forecast oh, yeah. for growth. That's exactly, oh, yeah. that's exactly, oh, yeah. that's, so it's precisely the opposite of what the Honourable Lady has said. And it's very clear where we stand on this. We've got pro growth, pro enterprise, pro business yeah. uh, Conservatives on one side and the anti growth coalition yeah. on the other side yeah. who want to tax more and want to uh, commit us to low growth. Chair of the Select Committee, Bell Strive. So the OBR will be uh, fully scoring and giving a forecast ahead of the medium term fiscal plan. In relation to the Bank of England, uh, I speak to uh, the Governor very frequently, and uh, he is someone who is absolutely independent and is, is actually managing uh, what is a global situation very effectively. <laughs> My right honourable friend uh, is absolutely right. He does a brilliant job uh, chairing his committee um, and is full of wise counsel. And he's absolutely right that we will and should uh, canvass opinion uh, widely ahead of the publication of the plan. The OBR, the OBR, the OBR, the OBR, the OBR is a an institution that commands wide respect, not only in the UK but across the world, and its independence to me is absolutely sacrosanct. Yeah, you're right. You're okay. Gail Pullman. Uh, my honourable friend, the Financial Secretary, Treasury, and I uh, are engaged with all the regulators, particularly the PRA, and we will uh, be absolutely uh, committed to getting to the bottom of what's happened in the long, particularly the long-dated uh, gilt market, where uh, it's been over-levered over the last few weeks. Mark Arthur. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Speaker. Um, the Chancellor said that he's going to.